All right, so uh, now that we've gotten missions really underneath of our belt, um, I'm going to go ahead and skip the DDoS missions because, to be brutally honest, these DDoS missions um, really open you up to, um, you know, attacks from other players, um, especially if you're at a low-level prestige such as 1. Um, there's really no reason that you should be doing DDoS missions at all. Um, I would 100% suggest waiting until at least level um, or prestige 16. Um, that way you have a, um, a free who is cost. Um, so as soon as you have a who is cost um, minus 30, then you'll go ahead and uh, be able to really take full advantage of the DDoS missions. It's a little bit better, um, and not to mention by the time you reach prestige level 16, you should have higher software. So um, let's go ahead and take a look on how to upgrade your software uh, so that way uh, you are not uh, you know, making yourself susceptible to other players. Um, so the first thing is um, you want to upgrade your firewall. Um, obviously you want to upgrade your firewall and your water wall pretty much evenly. Um, there's some players that like to go ahead and upgrade their firewall first and then go back through and upgrade their water wall. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's all up to personal preference. So we'll look at the forge. Um, obviously, if you go into your menu, uh, there will be forge and inventory. So those are the two screens that we're going to be looking at. This is the forge, and this is our inventory. So as you can tell, uh, we have a couple of C mods. We have 30 out of 30 C mods, which is awesome. Uh, we also have legendary C mods. Now we get these C mods by uh, scanning whenever we are connected to an NPC uh, or a non-playable character. So let's just go ahead and connect to Viacom real quick, and I'll show you what I mean. So if I connect to Viacom and I t and I type in scan, it will say found zero C mods and zero compilers. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and clear a log there. And let's go ahead and access the Pentagon. We'll scan that. Cool, so we have found zero C mods in one compiler. Awesome, so and I'll explain that just in a little bit as to what all of these are. So we'll scan. Cool, and we found one C mod and zero compilers. Awesome. So every time you connect to an NPC, before you disconnect, make sure that you are scanning. Uh, so that way you can go ahead and take advantage of the entire thing. So, here's how C mods work. C mods and legendary C mods. Legendary C mods are going to be used first before C mods are going to be used. And a legendary C mod upgrades to um, whatever level uh, 0.9. Okay, so if we go ahead and upgrade this and just click on it once, it upgrades our firewall to 0 0.9, okay? And we have used one legendary C mod, okay? Now, the compiler, okay, is what upgrades from 0.9 to an even number, 0 0.0. So if we go ahead and click on the up arrow again, notice this number over here changes from 23 to 22. Awesome. And as you can see, the firewall is now at level 1. If we do this two more times, it goes to 1.9, and it's used one legendary C mod. We upgrade again, now it's used a compiler. We upgrade again, it's used a legendary C mod. Upgrade ag again, and it's used a compiler. Now, if you would, if you want to, after you are out of legendary C mods, it will start using C mods, which are cool. They're awesome. However, um, every single time that you upgrade using a C mod and not a legendary C mod, it goes in increments of 0.1. So if I t if I hit it once, it goes to 3.1. I hit it again, it goes to 3.2. I hit it again, it goes to 3.3. So let's take this all the way up to 3.9. Okay, and so now we've used uh, nine C mods, right? And we've used uh, no compilers just yet, but if we hit one more time, we've used a compiler. 
So the easiest way to upgrade is to convert your C mods into legendary C mods. And Terminal has an absolutely awesome command for this. And that is going to be convert. And, and then you'd always type 300, okay? Because it, some people have the uh, ability to go ahead and upgrade the amount of C mods that you get um, or that you have. Uh, so you always want to convert uh, 300 because that's going to be the max. And if you don't have 300, that's perfectly fine. It will go ahead and do the calculation for you. So go ahead and hit C mods. So now we have converted 21 C mods to two legendary C mods with one C mod not converted. Awesome. So now we have two legendary C mods and uh, one uh, regular C mod. So if we go ahead and upgrade one more time, boom and then we use a compiler and then we upgrade again and then we use another compiler um, then that makes it saves you clicks pretty much is what it does so um, make sure that you're always converting your c mods into legendary c mods uh, especially if you are running out of space for c mods because you can only hold 30 unless you upgrade you can get these upgrades in the rewards page um, and the rewards page is uh, you you uh, basically uh, have these rewards that you can purchase for real money. Um, C mod upgrade, permanent C mod limit doubled to 60. Um, you can triple it, you can quadruple it, um, whatever you would like. Um, and as you can see, if you look in my rewards, I've got some loot crates. Now these loot crates I actually got, and you get these loot crates from daily rewards. You get them for free. Um, so when I logged in today, I got four rare loot crates, which are absolutely awesome. So let's go ahead and activate all four of them. So as you can see, I got 61 C mods. I got 10 compilers. I got $3,536. I got classified files, which you don't really need. Um, and I got memes, which again, you don't really need. Um, I don't really keep any of those. Um, so if I go ahead and activate all four of these, I will get some awesome C mods and a bank account uh, or um, it's some money in my bank account. So now if I go back to my inventory, I have 184 out of 30, okay, which is perfectly fine. Um, so that means I've gone over and exceeded my C mod limit. So what I want to do is convert again. And now I've converted all of those into 18 legendary C mods. So what I will do is I will uh, take both my firewall and my water wall up to uh, 10 because that seems like a good number. Okay. And you never, ever, ever, for any circumstance, ever upgrade your pulse sensor. There's no reason to upgrade it. It doesn't hack anything better. It doesn't hack anything faster. It's always 0.1. And if you upgrade to pulse sensor, you are literally wasting your C mods, and there's no reason for you to do that. So I have four legendary C mods. That means I can go ahead and upgrade the water wall and the fire wall to 12 each. And then the major thing after you are done upgrading is you want to back up your firewall and your water wall to your external hard drive. So if we take a look at our external hard drive here, we can hold uh, 8.75 uh, uh, gigabytes, right? So let's take a look at our file explorer here. And as you can see, uh, the water wall itself is going to take up 7.71, and our firewall is going to take uh, 3.88. So, uh, what does that mean? That means we have to upgrade our external hard drive. So, we will go ahead and convert these 34 bitcoins that we have, and we will sell those back into cash. Okay. And now we'll go back to our gateway, and we will upgrade our external hard drive as big as we can make sure to delete our logs okay and now we can put 20.01 gigabytes onto our external hard drive and if we look in our file explorer uh, we already have one file here that's definitely our nudes 
And so what we'll want to do is click and drag our firewall and our water wall into our hard drive. Okay. Now you can also use the NAS backup command and you can do it either by name or you can do it by ID. I personally like name and then you can just type in firewall or whatever the name of your firewall or water wall is. Um, and I also will, uh, just in case, um, I will go ahead and back up our pulse sensor as well. All right. Now, I don't personally like memes and I don't like um, top secret. Uh, memes are image files and top secret are classified files. So what I can do is I can actually do, um, I can batch remove them. So the rm list command, which is remove list. Okay. Um, oh my God, I hate autocorrect. rm list, rm list command. Uh, and then we'll just type in image and it'll remove all of our images and then we'll also type in classified as well and it will remove all of our classified files. Um, so obviously we'll go ahead and finish those backups. So now if we look at our uh, external hard drive, we have our pulse sensor backed up, we have our water wall and our firewall backed up as well. And uh, it just takes a couple more seconds in order to delete all of our images and all of uh, our classified documents. So if we remove those, awesome. Now if we go back and we look at our device, the only thing that we have added on here is a miner. So somebody hacked us um, and installed a miner virus. And you can tell that it is a miner virus and they are activated because this is a red dollar sign and not a blue dollar sign. If it's blue, then that means it's not activated and that's one of ours, um, but it red means that somebody installed it onto us and we have to get rid of it using an antivirus. So we'll deal with that a little bit later once we get the antivirus. Uh, and this is pretty much going to be it for the tutorial on how to upgrade your, uh, your software. Um, and if you, any of you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below or use the Discord, and we will go ahead and help you out. All right, thanks. See ya.